Hello everybody, it's Homestar92 and welcome to this last part of the Earth Temple in Wind Waker. As always, I am your fantastical host and we are going to start by fighting the boss. Now, I don't really know where Medley is. You don't need her to fight the boss, so I'm just going to go on in here without her. Basically, if there's a room in the dungeon where there where you can't go back out, you won't generally need your partner because you know what happens if you go in without them? You know, you'd be stuck. You'd have to restart the game. So, if you're going into a room that you can't turn back around and go out, chances are it's designed so that you don't need your partner. So, that having been said, let's go ahead and fight this boss. Now, Medley will become important here in a minute, but we don't need to find her. She will show up herself. And of course, you will be using both dungeon items, both the um, power bracelets that you had to get to enter the dungeon, and the mirror shield as you just saw. And what you have to do is throw him into these spikes. And he will split off into like a bunch of pose. Who are fairly easy to kill. So yeah, just, and then it's the same thing, just wash, rinse, repeat. And he drops a lot of hearts and magic, although you don't need magic for any part of this fight. And don't let him suck you up, because that would be bad. And of course, if you hit him with the light, it will instantly stop his attack. So, that's one thing you can keep in mind. And if you don't pick him up in time, I'm assuming he, like becomes unstunned, so definitely make sure you pick him up in time. And repeat the cycle. You can probably arrow these guys. You can, indeed. There's only four left, so it's easy enough. So yeah, I should be able to bring him down in one or two more goes. Of course now, the light will start moving around, which is obviously not good. I'm really lucky that that- aw, oh, the light moved. Are you serious? Come on. Ah, oh, stupid light. Quit moving. See, the big problem is he'll attack, and then the light will move. So, no, I can not hit him because A, he's attacking, and B, right when I get under the light, it moves. It's easy enough to aim for that pillar. I don't know if you can hit him off the spikes in the side. And I don't know how he can reform when he only has one of those guys. I guess he has a magical ability to expand. Because, in actuality, he shouldn't be able to. Oh, one of them dropped a orb of magical goodness. I will have to check out the content. Well, I won't get to, actually. It sucks, but there won't be anything irreplaceable in there, so... Die, die. Dead. And that's the end of that boss. That was Jalhala. I believe his name is. And he can no longer reform, so he's pretty upset. And now he's just gonna crawl away into hiding. And aw, the light. That sucks, man. Now you're dead. Boom. It's kinda like those Majora's Mask boss deaths where they turn into a mask and you collect their remains. And the middle part of the Triforce is glowing, and wow, we're not even five minutes in. This will be perfect. We'll be able to finish all the little festivities and everything. Okay. Oh, we will get a chance to break the Orb of Goodness. I don't want to break it when it's red, because I don't get primarily hearts. Which I did anyway. I got one rupee. Not good enough. Anyway, grab the heart container. Your life energy will increase, as is to be expected. And let's get right in that warp. And Link somehow mysteriously transports himself back a few feet without walking. 
and in comes Medley. And it looks like they're on the same page as to what has to be done. He's going to conduct her. And watch, if you know anything about music or have ever been in a band, you'll know that he's not conducting appropriately. <laughs> he's just doing the same animation over and over in a loop. It's kind of funny, actually. But, you know, I'm sure that was kind of... I'm sure the developers didn't expect most people to pay a lot of attention to how Link conducts. And you can tell there's actually a slight jitter in the animation. So it's very... It's... that makes it a lot more obvious. And the fact that he's not on the beat, you know, that doesn't really help either. <laughs> but the sword is now... awesome. And yep, there she blows, and it expanded a little bit. That means it's got a little bit more power. No, I don't know if that means it's actually stronger, or if it just means it's, you know, if it's just a formality to say, hey, you're halfway to being able to fight Ganon. So if anyone knows that, you know, that would be awesome. Yes, yes, I must go to the Wind Temple. I still don't understand why I have to play these in any order. Because you would think that since you don't need the Mirror Shield or the Power Bracelets in the Wind Temple, you'd think you could go ahead and play it first. But whatever. Yes, yes, I'll watch over Prince Kamali. But I really, he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Seven minutes. Alright, we've got plenty of time. Well, I almost feel like it's my obligation to do something, but there's not much I can do. I mean, I guess I could go to the other island, but I really don't remember where it is. Oh, duh, it's right there. Yeah, we've got seven minutes. If I run over, I'll just cut out my travel. Um, but yeah, I guess we can go ahead and go to the next island, but... I can't really learn the song, I won't have time for that. That'll probably be a five minute ordeal. Oh, I know what else I can do. You can go to Windfall Island, and there's a, one more song you can learn. There. Um, I don't know if you can learn it during the day, that's the only real problem. I'd assume you can. But we shall see. Uh, I need my sail. Oh, and I've got a letter, too. Perfect. Now, how do I get up there? This is not very nice. Just like that, okay. Alright, let's check the mail, first of all. Good morning, letters for Link. We have one. Cash on delivery. Ten rupees? Oh, why not? Um, let's see. Oh, it's the postman guy. Okay. Alright, so you actually gained 10 rupees. That's not bad. But anyway, there is one thing we can do here right now. In our two minutes we have left. Find this here dance and fool. And talk to him. That magical dance changes day to night and night to day. Alright, stand in front of him and get out the Wind Waker. You have no ability to move it. It's just going to do this for a little while. And that's the rhythm that he was looking for. So now, he completely does a Michael Jackson. All, that, all we need there is a Shimon. So if we play that song... It's similar to the Sun Song in Ocarina of Time, or the Song of Double Time in Majora's Mask. It's the Song of Passing. It basically will allow you to, at any time, turn day into night and night into day. Although, if I had to guess, I would say it probably does not work in the Forsaken Fortress. Because I've never seen the Forsaken Fortress at er, during the day. I mean, I could try, but is there really a point, you know? 
Anyway, I don't know. We're past 10 minutes now. Um, I feel like I got a lot done in this part. So, yeah. I guess I am Homestar92, and I will see you guys next time with more Wind Waker. Later.